Hello again. It's Friday, May 5th, 2017. This is Journal TV and I'm Jerry Clark. It's time for the news. A National Day of Prayer ceremony was held on the steps of the Clifton Forge Town Hall on Thursday. Prayers for government officials, educators, law enforcement officers, military, fire and rescue personnel, and public workers were given, among other items. Listen. Let me say something about our observance today. Jesus directed us very clearly to agree in prayer. He says, where two of us agree, when we ask, uh -huh. our Father will move to bring it to pass. Yes. And so there is no doubt about it. Downtown Covington is looking better and better these days, thanks to new businesses opening up and the city making improvements like those on Maple Avenue. A ribbon-cutting event was held yesterday for the Merle Norman Cosmetics Store as well. Watch. We've got our group. We're really excited about it. Uh, we've brought a lot of new things to the area with the <coughs> boutique. Uh, we're adding a lot of new nail services. With the esthetician, um, we have some great things coming up to prizes over the next few months, That uh, some services that you ladies normally have to go to a big city to find. Good deed doing can lead to local business creation. Listen to the owner of the Sweet Magnolia's Bakery in Iron Gate, which opens on May 9th. Um, well, I've always been one to like to bake and cook and so forth, and several many years back, um, there was a lady that had been diagnosed with cancer, and there was a fundraising uh, that they had at Bella Pizza, and I got the bright idea that I'll just try to make a few things and get a couple hundred dollars and donate to her, and it went rampant. It, it just exploded. It exploded, and in less than two weeks, I raised $1,100 baking out of my little kitchen at home. Covington is about to get $1 million in paving done soon. Here is City Manager Richard Douglas on the issue. Paving? We're, we're going to be paving streets later uh, in May. Uh, we got some uh, money from BDOT for paving the, some of the primary roads. We'll be doing all of Monroe, uh, essentially from Allegheny to the city limits, uh, Madison from the city limits to uh, Carpenter Drive, and then Allegheny in the dry run area from the city limits to Main Street. Sounds like big bucks. It's about a million dollars we got in uh, state aid. It was a very close 217 to 213 vote but the House passed an Obamacare repeal and replace bill on Thursday. However, big changes are expected to happen in the Senate. Here is Representative Morgan Griffith on the issue. Listen. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. This bill guarantees access for all. And when I say access, let me be clear, it is access for all. When you have insurance companies that are pulling out, today we learned they're pulling out of Virginia, Aetna is. When you have counties across these United States that no longer have anyone who's willing to provide the Obamacare insurance, that's not access. When you have a situation where somebody comes up to you at the local county fair and says, you've got to get me out of Obamacare, it's killing me. It is killing our family's finances because we have such a high deductible, because we have such a high copay, and my husband is very sick, and he may have a piece of paper, ladies and gentlemen, he may have a piece of paper, but it's not really health insurance when you can't really use it without having to sell off what little assets you may have or worry about whether or not you can afford to have a roof over your head any longer. And we'll be right back after a word from our sponsor. The issue of additional pay for Allegheny County deputies will be discussed again on May 9th at an Allegheny County work session. Commonwealth Attorney Ed Stein also gave his views on the subject at Tuesday's supervisors' meeting. Watch. What the Commonwealth gives you, what the state gives you, was designed to be a floor, not a ceiling. For years and years, this board has taken that to mean that what the state gives, the state gives, and the county can get away with giving nothing. That was never designed that way. That's not the way it works anywhere else. 
as I told this board on many occasions, not, I'm not asking for anything, but it applies to the Sheriff's Department equally. You can't go anywhere in the state and make less money to be a Commonwealth attorney. Millboro resident Glenn Charles Williams, 80, died at the scene after an accident on Route 42 on Thursday afternoon. The accident is still under investigation by the Virginia State Police. Clifton Ford's town councilman Jeff Irvin answered a number of questions about town council issues at the Clifton Forge Armory on Thursday night. The Journal will have more coverage on this issue soon. And we'll be right back after a word from our sponsor. And here's a look at coming events. The annual Bike Rodeo is Saturday at the Jackson River Sports Complex. The Big Bass Fishing Tournament is being held at Lake Moomaw on Saturday. The Brass Ensemble in the Garden will perform Saturday at the Clifton Ford School of the Arts from 2 to 5 p.m. The Virginia Opry will be held at the Historic Masonic Theater Saturday at 8 p.m. And the Allegheny Supervisors have an important work session on pay issues on May 9th. And don't forget, the free movie, The Great Escape, will be shown on May 16th at the Historic Masonic Theater. And now for local obituaries. James Jungle Jim Hall, 72, of Clifton Forge, died on Tuesday. His funeral was held earlier today at the Nicely Funeral Home. Nevlin Scott, 90, of Buena Vista, died Monday. Her funeral was held earlier today at the Bowling, Gross, and Lots Funeral Chapel. Grover Porterfield, 71, of Covington, died on Wednesday. His funeral will be held Monday at the Eric Funeral Home. Shirley Seville, 80, of Covington, died on Thursday. Her funeral is set Monday at the Nicely Funeral Home. Irene Doss Lockhart, 91, of Covington, died on May 4th. Her funeral service will be conducted Monday at the Edgemont Associated Reform Presbyterian Church. John Jordan, 69, of Lomore, died on Thursday. A memorial service for John will be held at a later date. And now let's check out the local weather forecast. On Saturday, it should be mostly cloudy with scattered showers, high only of 57 and a low of 45. On Sunday, partly cloudy with isolated showers, High of 59 and a low of 41. On Monday, it should be mostly sunny. High about 63 and a low of 41. And that's the way it is Friday, May 5th, 2017. More stories, photos, and videos are available on AlleghenyJournal.com and on our soaring Facebook page. Thanks very much for watching Journal TV.